Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and this is just a quick video of us painting some uh, waterborne paint. We've already got it sealed, and he's tacking it off. Now, notice that we only sprayed sealer on the repaired area. You don't seal the entire car, or you wouldn't be able to blend the paint. We're blending within the panel uh, of this car. Waterborne usually matches really good, but uh, we're going to go ahead and blend the back part of this panel, and it will be close to a button match to the door because we don't have much room up there but he just applied a coat of paint this is waterborne paint and with waterborne it takes extra air movement to help it dry so he has a handheld air dryer there and by the way we are this isn't uh, we sped this up a little bit so it's uh, moving a little faster than, than normal but he is uh, you don't want to blow directly on it notice how he's going from an angle basically just trying to help redirect the airflow that the booth already has and uh, he's gonna he's gonna air dry this off and you can see this waterborne paint you can actually see it whenever it evaporates it'll have a glossy look to it and you can see it dull whenever it's completely dull you're ready for your next coat not really like your traditional solvent paint where you have to allow it to flash and you can't really tell you know when it's flashed properly as soon as this is uh, completely doled out, you're ready to apply the next coat. So in a way, Waterborne really speeds up production. Because you can put a coat on, you can air dry it, put a coat on. Only difference is it keeps the painter in the booth. I mean, you're busy all the time, but you can get them in and out faster. And now he is applying a second coat of base coat. And he's blending in the edges on this. And with waterborne paint, solvent paint, it doesn't matter what kind, I mean the, the objective is is to get full hiding. You don't want to put it on, you know, you're not, you're not trying to gain a lot of mills or put it on too thick. So whenever it, re, uh, when it reaches full hiding, covers what's underneath, you know, that's all we need. We just need the color right and then we can uh, go to the clear coat stages. And again, he's using the air gun to, uh, to blow this off and this speeds up the process and uh, he's doing that and again notice he's kind of hitting it from angles he's not blowing directly onto it and one thing you might want to keep in mind with these air blowers is is you know don't try to point it at the wall or on the ground or anything because that might kick up dust which will get in the paint system you know, or in the paint job so we're just kind of blowing it directly towards the paint and uh, at an angle And again, just watch it. I mean, it's probably can't see it on video, but you can see when that water evaporates. I mean, it's it's very easy to see when you're there. Okay, he determined this needs another coat, so we're putting a third coat. Sometimes two, sometimes three, and you know, sometimes it may take four, depending on the color. But he's putting one more coat, blends it out. When I'm when I'm talking about blending out, you just kind of fanning the edges so it goes from the the new paint and kind of fades into the existing paint and uh, once again he's going to blow that off and just watch it as it air dries you can you can watch the gloss go away you can actually see that, that uh, the water in there evaporate I know a lot of people were scared of waterborne when it came out and uh, thought it was a slower process but really you know it's a faster process uh, as far as you can put you know two or three or even four coats on much faster we even started using the waterborne primer surface or something it's the same way you blow it off and it's dry you can put another coat you know solvents you have to wait anywhere from five to fifteen minutes depending on the product and the brand and uh, you know this uh, eliminates that and they also do have boosts now we just have got a regular downdraft booth but they do have booths that are made for waterborne now where you don't have to sit there with a handheld blower they've got blowers been built into the booths or fans and uh, that that's, comes in handy for this and he was just looking at the paint real good trying to determine if it's got full coverage sometimes it's hard to tell and that's why we have this sun gun you know the sun gun kind of makes it look like the sun uh, gives it that blue tint that the sun has 
and also brightens it up you know to where you can see if there's any light spots or if it's not fully covered so that's what he's checking right now because it has happened where it looks good in the booth and we think that it uh and now he's putting a control coat on let me cut myself off there but uh and now he's on well, he's have, having me check it out here and uh i have him go get the sun gun we take a look at it But I have had it happen, continue to what I was talking about a minute ago, where it looks good in the booth, you clear coat it, and then you pull it outside, and then you can just barely see through the base coat. You know, it looks like a stain or something like that. Okay, we've got the base coat on, it looks good. Now we're going to clear coat the entire surface that we have masked, unmasked. So we're going to clear coat all that. Now we don't blend our clear coat, we're just painting the entire quarter panel and he's putting the first coat on another thing with waterborne it requires a little bit tighter overlap which is 50% uh, or 75% on the waterborne now this clear coat it's still a solvent that we're using it's a solvent borne clear or solvent base clear and uh, it's a 50% overlap now this clear I you know I, I edited out the flash time but it does require you know 15 minutes flash so be sure and read your technical data sheet to determine what the flash time is if, you know on solvent based products and now he is putting his second coat of clear coat on this is where you want to get it on nice and even and you want your mill you want full wet coats this is your UV you know what protects it from the sun and uh, where you get all your protection to the color that's underneath So he's got the second coat of clear on, it looks good. Now just let it dry. We're gonna bake it, then we'll pull it out and uh, get it ready. There's a few dirt nibs that we'll need to buff out and it'll be ready to uh, put back together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.